How do you manage and delete develop presets in Lightroom? Hello, welcome to the Do It In Post channel from Ian Studio. I received a message this morning from uh, one of my subscribers uh, who says, uh, Ian, here's a technical question concerning Lightroom, which various searches and inquiries have just been dead ends. How do you delete installed presets? I know how to manage them and stop them showing up in the menu, but to actually remove them eludes me. I've attempted to delete them directly from the Adobe folder, but they still remain present and working in the program. Right, okay, so I'm not exactly sure whether what I'm going to present will solve the, the specific problem that Gary there was having. But I thought this was a good, ex good excuse, good reason to go through uh, how, how Lightroom handles developed presets, because it's a bit weird. And hopefully this, this extra information might point you in the right direction, Gary. So let's head over into Lightroom and I'll try and explain what's going on. So here we've got uh, an image. I'm in the uh, develop module and um, let's, um, let's just add some settings in here. Something just so that we know we've got something a bit different. I'm going to stick up the vibrance on there and I'm going to really warm it up and maybe bring the highlights down and the shadows up just so I've got some settings on there. I'm now going to create a preset and as I'm sure you know you do this off the menu here create presets and, and for the sake of, uh, of this particular demo I'm just going to take everything and I'm going to call this IMB Oh, um, X, Y, Z, Z, Y, preset. And I'm going to store it in the user presets folder and create. So we now have that there. Right, so that's the first one created. Let's create a second preset. This time I'm going to make it a very blue image just so that we know we've got uh, different settings on here. And I'm going to, oh, let's give it some contrast, something like that. Uh, basically, they're rubbish settings, but they're enough to be able to show what I'm doing here. And I'm going to create another one, create preset, and IMB XY ZZY. And we'll call this one blue. So I've now got uh, two different presets here, a blue and uh, a warmer one. So I can sort of toggle between them uh, on there. Now, where are these actually stored where within Lightroom? Well, we can find that out by right clicking on there and saying show in Explorer. And that will open an Explorer window. And we have here, uh, if you look at the, the whole folder, this PC, window, the, um, the C drive, users in app data roaming, Adobe Camera Raw settings, user presets. And in there, we've got the two uh, presets that I have created, uh, blue and preset. So now the correct way uh, to get rid of presets is really, really simple. And that is to right click and say delete. And this is getting rid of the blue one. So I can say delete. And we'll find that the over here, that the blue preset disappears on the folder. So I can also, let me just recreate that blue one um, and say plus create preset. IMB XY ZZY blue two. We've got that, and you notice it's created the file there. Now, if I just delete the file from the folder here, well, let's let's do it with the preset one. Let's delete that. 
there, you'll notice that over here within Lightroom, it's still present. So just getting rid of the file from the folder doesn't actually, um, actually help because I can still go blue or I can do preset and go between them, it's still working. However, if I restart Lightroom, why is the restart within preferences? I've never worked this one out. So restart Lightroom Classic. And so we're back. But now, because the file's no longer in the folder, we can see that it's missing from the presets folder here. So it's automatically removed it on restart. So that appears to be the, uh, the solution for getting rid of presets within Lightroom. However, if only it was as simple as that, because there are a couple of things where it doesn't work exactly the same as that. Let, uh, let me show you. I've got another set of presets here. Uh, Ian's developed presets, Lightroom 10 version 0 0.1. Now these are my processing uh, presets. Now, if you have a look here under uh, settings, the folder exists for them, but there's no presets in there, and yet they are here. So what's going on? Well, the easiest way to find out what's going on is to pick one of these presets, right click on it and say, show in Explorer. And that opens up a new window. These are stored in a different place. Reset this screen so you can see what's going on. Can you see the difference between the two folders? Well, one set, it is, as you would expect, users in App Data Roaming, Adobe, Camera Raw, but we're under imported settings as opposed to settings. The so two different folders. And the difference there is due to the fact that my um, bundle of presets I created uh, as a, a package that could be imported. And when I was creating them, they were all underneath Ian's developed presets. But once I packaged them up, I deleted that. So it doesn't appear in, uh, in Lightroom. I imported them and they've turned up in under imported settings. So those are in a different location. Now, let's go back over into Lightroom. So here we are in Lightroom, but we have another set of presets as well. And those are the pre-installed ones, the ones that come with Adobe. So where are they? Well, I'm just going to enable them by using manage presets. I have them disabled uh, by default. And you can see there's uh, quite a few in here. Defaults, curve, grain, op optic sharpening. Let's show all of those. Now these are all presets that come with Lightroom. And the thing about the, the built-in ones is you can't delete them. You can, the only thing you can do is to hide them. And that is just to take them off here. So if those are the presets that you're trying to get rid of, the only thing you can do is hide them. You can't get rid of them. But the normal way to get rid of a preset is to right click on it and select delete. And that uh, will, will get rid of it. I suspect, Gary, that the problem you've reported is a little bit different to what I've described on here. But this is how it should work. And this is what I'm seeing within Lightroom. If you're seeing something different uh, from some other way that you can't delete a preset, then do let me know. Just remember there are two different folders. There are imported presets folders, uh, imported settings folders and settings folder. And you can find out which presets are in which by right clicking on uh, a preset and saying show in Explorer. 
and then there are built-in presets which there is no way to delete because it's actually part of the the, um, the the program itself and those all you can do is hide them so don't know whether it's helped you gary do let me know one way or the other and uh, if i've missed something about the problem that you're having let me know in the comments below and if anybody else is having similar problems deleting presets and this hasn't helped let me know and i'll try and uh, uh, understand what problems you're seeing and hopefully come up with a solution for them as well so thanks for watching and until next time keep making great photos